The CW's Arrowverse has had monumental success. While Marvel may be the king of comic book cinema, despite Christopher Nolan's best efforts, DC's reign over the small screen, with the endearing television adaptations of The Flash, Supergirl, Green Arrow, and the stellar cast of heroes from The Legends of Tomorrow, is without a doubt killing it. So, naturally, being a CW show, the fandom has a bunch of ships. And oh boy, do fans ship them hard. Get ready for some creative ship names, friends, with our list of the top 10 Arrowverse fanships. And at number 10, Spallin. Barry Allen and Patty Spivitt. Anyone familiar with The Flash in the comics knew from the second that Patty Spivitt arrived on the scene in the second season of The Flash that she was likely going to be a new love interest for Barry. And oh boy, a love interest did she become. So much so that a lot of fans actually prefer them to the current, and seemingly endgame, pairing of Iris West and Barry. They're just so damn adorable together, how could you not find them endearing? Up next, number 9, Ray Licity. Ray Palmer and Felicity Smoke. This ship sunk before it ever really sailed. Sorry, dad joke. But not because of the chemistry between these two characters. That was palpable. Instead, it was due to poor writing considering their relationship, which fizzled them out before they ever really had a chance. But to be fair, maybe their relationship would have been more hindered by the whole Ray going behind her back to force her to work a Palmer Tech thing. Or maybe that could have just fueled their fire. Instead, writers put their attention towards a romantic relationship for Felicity that was more so towards the Elicity ship. Her and Oliver Queen, a ship that many fans feel negatively towards, with some even suggesting that it might ruin Arrow altogether. Harsh. That being said, it's easy to get on board with why fans felt Felicity and Ray were so much more suitable, and much more compelling to watch. Up next at 8, Golden Vibe, Cisco Ramon and Lisa Snart. It was clear since their first interaction that these two had chemistry. And if that didn't sell you on it, perhaps that kiss of theirs did. In typical CW rip your heart out fashion, the romance between these two was drastically cut short. Lisa was returned to her own timeline, leaving poor Cisco alone. But perhaps there still may be hope for these two in the future. As far as the multiverse is concerned, there's a whole lot of potential out there, friends. Up next, number 7, Super Flash, Barry Allen and Cara Danvers. You gotta admit, it's easy to see how this pairing came to be a major ship. Cara and Barry have had undeniable chemistry together, on and off the battlefield. This ship started up when Barry made a cameo in Supergirl, and only further picked up steam when Supergirl officially became part of the Arrowverse. Despite the usual opposites attract pull for a lot of ships, these two are quite similar, which is why fans like to back them. They're both giant nerds, they have a similar brand of heroics, and and hey, they both are protagonists. It's hard to compete with that much combined charisma. Up next at 6, Nasara. Sarah Lance and Nysa Al Ghul. Once upon a time, these two were an item. While it seems that Sarah has moved on to other romantic interests, more on that later, some fans still think that these two are destined to be together. Primarily, how obvious it is that feelings still linger, at least for Nysa. She still totally has the hots for Sarah. Plus, Sarah has admitted that she thinks about getting back together with Nysa often. So, who knows? Maybe these two might be long game after all. Up next, number five, Lolliver. Oliver Queen and Laura Lance. So, these two have a bit of a murky past. Oliver cheated on her with her sister Sarah, and was kind of responsible for Sarah's alleged death. Definitely not the best track record there. But that being said, fans of the ship are rooting for Oliver to make amends with Laurel. These days, though, it seems more likely that the Elicity ship may prove to be more substantial. In existence, that is. In addition to that, in the comics, Green Arrow and Black Canary are an item, and even get married. A point that Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver Queen, has stated shouldn't have a ton of merit on the show, considering how different the comics are from the universe of the show itself. But the show has worked intensely with DC in order to maintain the same spirit that their character stories have in the comics. So hey, maybe don't shut it down right away. And at number 4, Captain Canary. Sarah Lance and Leonard Snart. The chemistry these two have together is undeniable. Plus, we did get a kiss out of them back in season 1 when Leonard had sacrificed himself to put an end to the Time Masters. These days, they're more so confidants for one another. But the witty banter remains, and still fuels the shipping fire for many a fan. Snart and Lance have had chemistry from the get-go, and we've gotten various moments, especially in season 1, where the idea of these two becoming an actual couple may have seemed like it was on the horizon. Plus, they're both so damn lovable as characters, it's hard to not want to see them together. These days, though, we've seen some of that banter between them in action when Snart has been edging Sarah on when it comes to our next number. And at number 3, Ava Lance. Sarah Lance and Ava Sharp. This one actually panned out. Twitter exploded. It was a joy to see. For what felt like an eternity, fans were hardcore rooting for Sarah and Ava to get together on Legends of Tomorrow. It had all the makings of a great television romance. The pair initially shared a mutual disdain for one another. Sarah would go around altering history, Ava would, you know, have to clean up the mess. Front of the mill superhero plot stuff. But then the relationship turned from antagonizing to respecting one another to flirtation, and yep, there we have it. Their romance became canon in episode 12 of season 3, followed by the couple going on a date together that was more than adorable. What makes these two such 
a great pairing, aside from being a ship that actually set sail, sorry dad joke again, is the fact that Sarah and Ava have a complex yet fun relationship with one another. And they both kick some serious butt to boot. It's hard not to be invested. Up next, number two, Snowberry. Barry Allen and Caitlin Snow. While it feels like it might be set in stone that Barry Allen and Iris West is the Flash's OTP, one true pairing, thanks to their history in the comics highly influencing that, that's not the case for shippers of this couple. There's something oh so endearing about the idea of Barry and Caitlin. And there's gut wrenching drama too. As Killer Frost, Caitlin couldn't kill Barry because of all of the feels. And come on, the show isn't helping matter with the season one episode 19. Kiss, even though it technically wasn't the real Barry. But that whole episode kind of felt like it was just scratching the surface of what the relationship could be. That being said, some people prefer these two as buddies rather than a romantic item. And finally, in at number one, Super Corp, Cara Danvers and Lena Luther. The queer baiting is alive and well with this pairing, friends. Ah, yes, I am talking about the super gay subtext noticed by many a fan between Lena Luther and Supergirl Cara Danvers. Have you seen the way they look at each other? How they interact? Come on, people. It's like watching Rizzoli and Isles for the millennial generation and beyond. And if you don't get that reference, you clearly do not spend enough time on Tumblr. Anywho, the chemistry between these two is palpable. And the thought that Lena being a Luther and possibly becoming evil somewhere down the line has opened the doors to many fans rooting for this pairing as star-crossed lovers. Despite all of this, the cast personally put an end to the ship by debunking it publicly, leading some fans to start shipping Lena with the likes of other characters. And also leaving a lot of fans pissed off at the cast when Jeremy Jordan made an insensitive joke about the ship. But this ship still has a strong fan base, which likely will still hope and dream that these two ladies will romantically team up in the future. <sighs> Let's sigh. Alright, there we have it, friends. Which of these fan ships is your favorite? And it's gotta be Ava Lance. What ships do you think actually have a chance at becoming a thing? Let us know all your thoughts and all of your feels in those comments below. If you're feeling in the lovey dovey mood, why not spread it our way and hit those like and subscribe buttons? We've also got a ton of other great nerdy videos about the Arrowverse and all things comic books on our channel. So definitely give the playlists that are flashing on your screen right now a look see. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Nerd. Catch you all in the next one.